Hey guys, just finished watching Daredevil season three, episode three, uh, No Good Deed. Um, wow, what an episode this one was. Um, this really was a, a fun episode. Um, first off, we see that Ray survived. Um, that was kind of interesting seeing him survived. I think it was kind of obvious that he was going to survive. It's you know, it didn't look like he got shot or anything. It was just pretty pretty much the um, the the impact kind of knocked him out type type of thing. So, um, so he survived. Then we see that. Um, Ellison is with Karen Page, and he kind of sets her up on, on on a date, and we see the whole like uh, of um, Wilson Fisk before kind of going into uh, you know going into the the, the penthouse, the the FBI safe house type thing. Um, and Ellison in, in, is uh, brought Karen Page over to his place, kind of I guess to set him up with her his son or his younger brother. It's unclear um, as to who exactly. Um, that is but uh, i guess it's uh, you know setting her up on a date or something like that to get her mind off of stuff and she wasn't kind of uh prepared for that and it seems like she's you know at some point she's kind of maybe accepting it kind of like oh whatever i'll, I'll go with it um once she uh she goes sits back down and then they both get the this this news that wilson fisk is out since you know his convoy broke down and stuff uh, got ambushed and it's out there that he's that wilson fisk is out and um but also, Ellison doesn't want uh, Karen Page on the story, which I think makes sense and stuff. He wouldn't want her, her on the story um, just because she, you know, too dangerous to, kind of for her type thing. Um, and then we see that Matt is, uh, we also find out that Matt is hearing Fisk when he kind of tries to break into, um, and he, him and Karen Page, they both show up at the place where Wilson Fisk is being hold, held for, by the uh, FBI. And like I said in the last episode, I understand why they're putting him in a, a room like this. Why do they don't just put him into, they don't have their own, you know, the FBI doesn't have their own um, prison cells j just for things like this type of thing when they need, when they have a, an informant that they need to get access to very often and they have an informant who, you know, is a risk at, of getting uh, injured and stuff. They can't put him in solitary confinement where he's just alone type of thing um, and just have his own his, his own type of setup. I feel like they, they must have like a, uh, you know, a max prism, uh, you know, super max type thing, especially like they just talked about in, well, I talked about way back in Jessica Jones season one when she wanted to get uh, locked up in super max so that, you know, Kilgrave couldn't do anything to her and stuff. And if he did, it would all be on camera and lots of people would have to see it by the time he got through to uh, to Jessica in super max. So I think that was an interesting idea that they want to do this, but it just doesn't make sense. Like, why not just go put him in super max or they don't have their own version of super max just for the FBI to kind of hold, um, you know, people that are, uh, that, that are telling, giving them information and stuff. So, um, so that was kind of interesting. There, uh, we do see a bit of. Uh, you see that uh, Matt kind of walks in and finds his way into the building, um, and he starts to see kind of. Well, see, kind of, he starts to hallucinate hearing um, Wilson Fisk. We see him and uh, you know over his shoulder type thing. And he's in like the, the white suit or it looks like pretty cool with that so that's gonna be cool to see that costume we don't see too much of it it's only like blurry over from the background because we see matt morocco and we see Wilson Fisk is kind of in the background but he's kind of a bit blurry and stuff um just to show us that he's not really there and stuff so i think that's really cool there um we see that uh, point dexter he's telling uh, you know the guy who saved um wilson fisk the one soldier type thing, the one FBI agent, uh, FBI SWAT who kind of saved uh, Wilson Fisk from everything. He's dealing with some stuff, dealing with the fact that he, you know, saved Wilson, Wilson Fisk versus kind of letting him die and stuff versus all the guys that uh, lost their lives for him type thing. So, and that's really cool dealing with that. And we see that he tells the therapist that he has a, a girlfriend, but later on in the episode, we find out that he doesn't really have a girlfriend and he's just kind of stalking her. At least that's where we're led to believe and type of thing. And that was a really cool moment there, especially with the music and stuff. The music kind of really gave it away to me that it looks like he's, you know, stalking her rather than just, um, you know, since he's buying the same pizza as her without actually, uh, you know, knowing her type thing. So I think that's really cool to deal with that. So he clearly already has some issues there. He's not just, he's not, he's clearly already, already, uh, already has some issues so that when he turns into, uh, you know, when he eventually turns into Bullseye, he'll already be kind of on his path to being broken and stuff. So I think that's really cool there. No, it's not going to take much for Wilson Fisk to kind of break him. But hopefully it happens in a way that's unpredictable because so far it seems like very predictable that he's just the guy who's out of the... Uh 
uh, outside of the dealing with Wilson Fisk, and he's always right outside the door type thing and all that. Um, even though Ray has been handling Wilson Fisk a lot more, he's more the the just the the the, the muscle handling him type type thing. And I think that's an interesting idea how they gave us this backstory originally of Ray showing that he might get turned and teasing that he might get turned. And I feel like they're trying to advert our expectations, like, hey, Ray's gonna get turned because he's the one who has money, money issues. And then boom, uh, you know. Uh, well, this um, Point Dexter, Benjamin Point Dexter, will be turned. He'll be turned into to to um, Bullseye. Now, I think that could be an interesting idea. But just the thing is that in the trailers, they show right away that Point Dexter is Bullseye. Now, they never even showed Ray in in the trailer. So I feel like there's something else behind this because this these shows, at least Daredevil's, always been really good at kind of uh, surprising us not doing the obvious stuff so i think there might be some sort of storyline behind there i think it's going to be cool to see as to what it turns out to be um we'll just have to wait and see is how things kind of turn out with that because uh why would they if the reveal if the, the idea was to use ray to kind of distract us and then boom all of a sudden you know point dexter becomes the villain becomes bullseye uh they, they wouldn't have shown point dexter that much in so much of the trailers you know so i think there's something up about that i can't wait to see as to what the storyline's going to be for ray and it seems a bit predictable as where things are going to go for a point dexter you know uh him eventually getting turned by uh by wilson fisk and stuff but uh, we'll have to wait and see as to how that happens and if it happens in a, in a way that's kind of uh, not so predictable, you know, and hopefully it's it's some way that's really kind of, or maybe it's not Wilson Fisk, maybe something completely else happens, that'd be cool, um, but basically from the trailers, we know that he will be putting on a Daredevil costume and pretending to be the Red uh, Daredevil, so that'll be cool to see that whenever that happens, but we'll have to wait here, um, and then Matt talks about how he's debating uh, killing Wilson Fisk, um, and then my, my question is, okay, then why not call, get a uh, find out where Will, where Frank Castle is, and then let him kill him. You know he's, he's willing to do it. He'd do it in a heartbeat. Um, and like you said uh, last time, if I'm not mistaken, last time that Frank Castle and um, and Kingpin and uh, Wilson Fisk talked when they were in prison, when uh, Fisk let him out of prison type thing and got him out, he's like, next time I see you, I'm taking you down. So I think it would have been an interesting idea to hear that you, wherever Frank Castle is, um, you would like to see, you know, what is he doing and. Um, wouldn't he be interested in coming back now that Wilson Fisk is there to try and stop him and, uh, you know, killing him and stuff? I think that would be a perfect opportunity, especially with all these <laughs> in a penthouse like this with so many windows like that. Uh, Frank Castle could easily snipe him from, from another building. It would be, it would be no uh, no sweat for him type thing. So I think it's really going to be cool to see. Uh, it would be cool to see if he would try to have that. I'm not sure if, if Matt Murdock, if Daredevil, has any uh, way of even contacting um, Frank Castle. I don't know if they have a flip phone like Stephen... Um, and Tony have, but uh, I think it would be cool. Uh, that's just my question: is why not use him if he's think considering doing it, but he doesn't want to break his his soul down. He wasn't doesn't want that karma on himself. Then why not have Frank Castle do it? Now, do you understand? There's still a bit of guilt left, you know, by high, by getting Frank to doing that and telling Frank to do that. Um, but I mean, I think it's just a it's a way to to do to do it without actually doing it himself and not going that far. I think there's certain there's certain people, you know, like 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 Wilson Fisk who. Um, um, we'll have to wait and see is it if he does end up betraying anything if he does uh you know uh cooperate fully because if he doesn't if he so far if he doesn't he hasn't done anything and if daredevil just attacks him and tries to kill him it's pretty much all on daredevil because wilson fisk has only been has been doing um has been doing nothing but but obeying the law to, so far and helping the fbi find uh, finding more criminals so i think it's going to be cool to see as to where things kind of go with that storyline because so far he hasn't done anything to 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 merit uh you know other than just his past stuff but he hasn't done anything yet to say that he's not going to st stick to his word type thing so i think it's really going to be cool to see as to where things go with that and i could see later on there being something like vanessa being killed even though we don't we haven't seen her which uh, you know, if, even if she was killed, I'd like to have seen that. You know, I want to see this, but I feel like since we haven't seen her at all, they probably we probably won't see her uh, at all in this season. So we'll have to wait and see as to where things go with that. So all in all, I'm really excited to see where things go. And then at the end of the episode, we see that Matt finds Foggy, and uh, he tells him obviously he shows him that he's alive and stuff, but he tells him that Matt Murdock is dead, um, and I'm gonna go kill. Uh, I'm gonna go stop Wilson Fisk no matter what it takes. So I think that's really cool there, and he kind of tells him, don't tell Karen Page and all that stuff about the, about him being alive. So it's going to be cool to see as to where things kind of go with all this and how that kind of relationship fig figures out and what's going to happen with this. And is, is Foggy going to tell Karen 
I could see him straight up telling her um, or not telling her and then she figuring it out type thing, even though she had always believed that he was alive um, and Foggy was the one who didn't believe he was alive. So I think that's really going to be cool to see as to where things kind of go with all that. So all in all, I'm really excited to see where things go for this show. So let me know what you think, guys, about the steps in the comments below. Season 3, Episode 3, uh, No Good Deed. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. I'm Captain America, here to talk to you about one of the most valuable traits a soldier or student can have. Subscribing. Sometimes subscribing. is the key to victory. Sometimes it leads to very little, and it seems like it's not worth it. And you wonder why you waited so long for something so disappointing. How many more of these? You're still here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Peace. It's over.